Hello everyone, I am Aditi. Welcome to the channel. One year ago, we uploaded this video. And guess what? You guys seem to love that one so much that we are back with the new updated one. There have been some updates in user registration and membership plugin and I'll show you how to create custom registration and login form in the updated version of URM plugin. So before we start with the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Here I am within my WordPress dashboard from which we can now start. So go to plugins and click on add plugin. And then you can see this search bar where you can type and search user registration and membership plugin. So as you can see this uh, plugin right here, you need to install it and activate it. After our plugin has been activated, we will be redirected to this setup wizard page. So click on get started. You will be shown these two type of registration. First, the normal registration and the second one is membership registration. We have already talked about membership registration we also have a video about this particular registration in our youtube channel you can check it out i'll be mentioning the link in the description but today we will be working with normal registration so after selecting that let's click on next so as we have already chosen the registration type we are now viewing the initial setup details our plugin has already installed the default registration form which is ready to use guest registration which is also active and the default wordpress login page has been disabled so this plugin has also created these four pages already in your website which is the registration page the login page my account page and the lost passport page so now as this setup has been done let's move to the next step so now we are on to the next step which is settings and it is one of the very important step because it helps in maintaining account security and providing right access to users registering to your website here you can see user approval and login option Option which helps control the user approval and login behavior so auto approval and manual login auto approval and automatic login which is self-explanatory itself and then we have admin approval which means you need to approve each user manually so auto approval after email confirmation means an email will be sent to users who have filled out the form so you can use any of these options i'm going to stick to auto approval and manual login for this step assign default user role whenever an user is filling out the form which role do you want to assign them here are some of the options and by default we have subscribers so i'm going to leave it to that if you want password strength requirement when users are registering you can easily set it up here you can turn it on and then set it on different modes for now i'll just turn it off but you can turn it the way you want your forms password strength to be so now we have come to the last step which is restrict wordpress dashboard access basically this implies which user role do you want to disallow access to your wordpress dashboard we have all of these options but it's set to subscriber by default and i'm going to leave it with that so now let's go to our next and final step so in the final step you can review all of these preferences and we are set to start now that you are brought to the dashboard dashboard of user registration and membership plugin click on create a registration form and you will be redirected to this page where you can see bunch of templates but since we are custom creating our registration form click on start from scratch because we are going to create and customize our registration form from scratch at first give your registration form a name so i'm gonna just name it exclusive registration exclusive registration and continue the default form that our plugin provides already includes username user email user password and confirm password but do we want our form to look this way no we want some changes here when you shift your eyes to the left you can see a whole bunch of fields right here choose one field for example let me choose phone number which is important and just drop it right here Ta-da! it's as easy as that so all you need to do is just click on it and drag it onto your form now i don't like how my user password is here but then confirm password is here so i'm going to move this field i think it looks much better so now here we have username our phone number user email user password confirm password 
we can add some more fields country suppose i want to know the users that are registering to my registration form i want to know which country they're from it looks pretty good so we're gonna stick to this so this is how our field is looking like but i don't like username so how do i change it i click on this field and we are redirected to field option except for username what i can write is drop your full name so i'll just click on it and then go to label and write phone number better when you click on these fields that you've dragged you are shown field options where you can change a lot of settings like it's label you can add description you for example i want the name required so i'm just going to turn it on if i want phone number required i'm just going to turn it on you can also change the layout when you click on this button right here you can change the grid this is how you can design your registration form however you like so now we can look into form settings where we have these two option out of which when you click on general you can see all of these setting options if you want to enable a form title and give it a description so i'll just name it registration hmm. now user approval and login option we talked about this in setup wizard and we've already set it up if you want to change it you also have the option to change it from form settings also the default user role and the enabling strong password if you want to make further more changes you can also come to form settings and change the settings of this so moving on you can also see summit button class summit button text success message display and if you want to you can enable captcha if you don't want to you can turn it off now coming here you have different form templates like how do you want your registration form to look like it's on default right now but then you have option of bordering it or flattening it out or rounding the edges or rounding it i just choose the rounded one because it looks a little different that way and then there's form class redirection after registration so after registration if you want your user to be redirected to another page or any page you can select it here like internal page or you can add any external url or the previous page that led to the registration page or simply no direction for now i'm going to choose no redirection but this is one of the settings that is like really important and is going to make so much of a difference in your registration website after we're done with general we have integration to integrate your form into different platforms for the better use of your users data you can use all of these platforms and if you want to furthermore explore into integration you also have this extension page right here you can go and check it out so once you are done with all of these settings and customizing your form you can update the form and you can also copy the short code provided right here now to preview this form onto your desired page you can go to pages and we already have this registration page right here so you can go on to edit and you can simply swap this code right here which is presented in this short code block and then you can simply just save it so this is how your registration form looks like but of course, we have another way to do it as well. So as you can see, the block inserter right here, when you click on it, we already have a registration built-in form block. So we can just drag it right here. So here you can see we have option to select a form. So I'm going to select the exclusive registration form that I just made. So once I select it, boom. I get the registration block so you can use either one of the ways the short code or the registration form block itself you can use any one of these and create your registration page so now let's move ahead and customize our login form so for that you need to go again to user registration and membership plugin and go to settings so once you go to settings you will be welcomed with all of these options i want you to go to login option right here this is our default login form so we're going to customize this so we have these four setting options where we can work to customize it in general you can first of all go to form templates and change the template since we did a round to the registration form let's sync the theme allow users to log in with here you can see that we have given users access to allow the website with either their username or email address now here in this particular button you have option to choose from either you want your user to log in with both username or email either just username or just 
just email i'm gonna leave it to username or email if you want to enable the login title you can please log in here or please log in so you can also add details to access your account but then i'm just gonna let that be now you have options to enable remember me the one right here you can enable lost password which is going to redirect you to another page and then registration url captcha now i'm going to go to the next setting option which is label in this particular one you can change the entire label of the login one so i'm gonna go back and type the same thing username or email password remember me lost your password yeah so basically all of these i'm not gonna make any changes to it because i like the way this login page looks but if you want you can make changes of all of your labels right from this option now next we have placeholders which is very important for example xyz at the rate gmail.com so placeholder to just make it easier and there's this message button where in every single field you can add on some default message so that the user can understand your login criteria is better for example username or email username is required the message written here will make it clear for audience that okay i need to put the username here you can customize the messages that you want to drop just to make it easier for your user to understand now we're going to update this form so just to see how my login page is looking like i'm going to open an incognito website apparently i'm a guest user in this website so let's go and see how the login page looks like mm, it looks pretty promising so this is how our website looks like at the moment and this is the registration form that we created we customized it and this is the login form that we customized so first let's start with registration drop your full name let me just make up a name alex williams email address alex is my name at the rate gmail.com phone number 9876543321 user password i'm just gonna keep alex so let's suppose i'm from italy confirm password alex again and summit so now that you can see i have been successfully registered let me now log in alex is my name at the rate gmail dot com and my password is alex i want you to definitely remember me and log in so now that i've gotten my access to my account i am going to go back to the dashboard so when i registered and logged in you saw a page popping which said my account user and registration where i can go to settings and then general and then i get this entire section for myself which says my account section so in my account section you can see all of these options and all of these settings that you can do first my account page simply means which page should you create or choose to appear when my account pops up among all the pages in your website for example there's this my account page and then there's sample page registration page login page you can also choose layout i love vertical more so i'm gonna go with vertical setting up you can disable your profile picture or enable your profile picture you can disable logout confirmation you can make changes in all of these aspects and after all of these you need to click on save changes so this is how we've set up our account as well so let's go to our page and give everything a final look so this is how the registration page looks like we are logged in and this is how my account looks like with all of the changes added and this brings us to the end of the video where we have successfully created a registration form login form and also set up my account in our user registration and membership plugin i hope you found this video helpful like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one